Hey, hey guys, Mel Modeler here with Eddard's latest release. Now, we've been looking forward to this one for a long time, um, and it's finally here. We knew that Eddard were going to be bringing out the 109 F and G models, probably the K as well, uh, in 170 second scale, particularly after they released the, uh, the Mazic set. Um, so like I say, we knew this was coming, and this is their first offering. So we've got a dual combo with the F2 and F4. Um, and as you can see from the gorgeous box art there, and also from the side, there's a number of different options here. So let's dive right into the box. This is a lovely set, as you'd expect from Eddard with their dual combo stuff. Um, so we've got the instructions and booklet, which we'll get into in a moment. We have two bags of clear parts, again, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Two sprues there and two sprues in the bag there. Um, and obviously we will compare those to the, the Mazic set just so we can see what the difference is. We have this fabulous decal sheet, all of these different options and all of our stencil placement there. We also have these lovely photo etch parts. Lots of detail there. Again, 170 second scale. You can see that's my hand. And we've also got our masks. Right, let's take a look first then at the instructions. So inside the booklet then, we have some information about the um, BF109F and the difference in the marks, which is really great to see. And I love the way they've called out the, um, the difference between certain marks and how that's called out in the kit. Very nice indeed. Then we come across to the sprue maps and you can see here's some of the parts that we don't use called out in blue. We have our um, mask set and our photo etch detail parts. Then we have our paint options for um, Guns, Aqueous and Mr. Color. Coming across to the uh, building instructions, we start with the um, cockpit area. And here we can see some of the photo etched options, seat belts, a lot of nice detail. And obviously I've uh, called this out already in the, the Mazic uh, review, which I'll put a link up there for you. Um, and we'll also have a look at the sprues of the Mazic kit so we can compare the difference between the two. You can see you've got a lot of photo etch here. Fuselage goes together. And then the cockpit goes into that. Then we work on the tailplane. Then we're on to the wings. And what I like here is you've got the different options called out. So be aware of that. You know, work out what it is you're going to build before you start. We'll come on to the different color options in a moment. very nice then we've got our aerolons more photo etched in the radiator parts flaps and undercarriage again we've got um, separate tires and wheels which is brilliant I'd love to see that then we've got the option of an open canopy with some photo etch Really nice indeed. Propeller. Then our ordnance options. So some of these parts have got a bomb. Others will have drop tanks. Others will have nothing at all. Um, so this is the, the F4. Just, this is the first time I'm looking at this. So you can see we've got this all called out. So that's really interesting. Same instructions pretty much but they've made it simpler by calling out the F2 and the F4 which is brilliant here we have the mask instructions and placement there very nice indeed so let's have a look at all of these different 
color options. So here's our first one. Here's our next two. Next two. I always associate the yellow nose with the ML, but they've uh, got quite a few called out here. Got some really nice different options here. Now I think this will be the first one I do. The uh, the Libya color scheme there. I'm probably going to steal the decals for this one for my FW190 kit renovation build that I'm going to be doing and I think this is going to be my other option so um, yeah obviously I'll do a build video and uh, let me know in the comments below commenting Finland or Libya which one you want to see so uh, yeah that one or this one uh, like I say, I'm going to build both of them, but we only want the one build video. <laughs> then we have another uh, desert option there as well. Very nice indeed. Then typically we come on to our stencil placement. And we've also got some of the optional extras that are already available. Fabulous. Right, let's have a look at the plastic. So two main sprues and each bag contains two of each. And let's just take a look at these wings. You can see just how well tooled that is. Bearing in mind this is 170 second scale. Fuselage. Upper wing surfaces come across the tail plane there. It's the cockpit area, which is very similar to the Mazic kit. But what's interesting, um, if we put this to one side for a moment and look at the the Mazic kit you can see this is a complete retooling um, you know I suspect we'll probably get the the Gustav and the K variants and you can see here's the fuselage which we knew would need to be different anyway that's a separate sprue but it's quite clear that we're gonna get a variety of different options here uh, right let's have a look at the decals well, here we go then. Lots of different options there. Obviously, we've only got the, the two kits, so you could probably buy the, um, the sprues separately or a different kit and utilise these decals. You can see you've got the notorious carrier film. Now, I've not yet successfully peeled that film off. Um, but there are some instruction videos on how to do it but like I say I've not done it successfully yet we will see whether we can do that with these perhaps but yeah lots of nice options there looking really good indeed well that is a lovely dual combo uh, now the arrival of this has actually disrupted my scheduling so um, my originally planned Friday video will now be posted on Sunday and it's the build video for the Sop with Dolphin. So do tune in for that one and you know if you found this useful and you like my content do think about subscribing. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye!